Hi everyone, it's Vicky here from Crafty Heaven and thank you very much for joining me today. And today I'm going to be showing you how I made this beautiful butterfly shaker anniversary card. So this is actually for a good friend of ours. It's their wedding anniversary next week. And I decided to use Sheena's Floribunda Butterfly Die Set to make this card. And as you can see, it is a shaker card and we have the sequins behind the butterfly. And because I've used vellum, it's toned down the colours of the sequins and it just gives it that really nice, subtle look and i absolutely love it we've also done some splats as well and yeah i think it's gorgeous this card is a seven inch squared um, card and it's really easy to make and i hope that you enjoy it so let's get started so to make this project i have my card base and this is going to be a seven inch squared card base so I've cut one piece that is seven inches by seven and a half and along the seven and a half inch side we would score at half an inch and then you're just going to fold that over. Then you'll have your second piece that is seven inch squared and these two are going to get attached together to make our card base. Some vellum. This is six and three quarter inch squared. And then I have another piece of white card and this is six and a half inch squared. Now the vellum is going to go behind this white piece. So you'll see this vellum through the butterfly. So I'm going to place that on there so you can see that vellum. And also I want it slightly bigger than the white piece. So then it could have a border around that white card. Then what I did was I got the Sheena floribunda die set butterfly die set and i got the outline die and i die cut that out onto the six and a half inch squared card and i placed it at an angle because i just thought it looked different instead of having it straight on like that so i die cut that out then i die cut this one out in some white cardstock and that's going to get glued onto the vellum like so I want to attach this piece to my vellum so I'm going to grab my liquid glue and I'm just using the book binding glue. place that on there and try and get that as central as I can our butterfly and again we're just going to use liquid glue for that Out the butterfly in some silver mirrored cardstock and I just did that for the body so I'm going to glue that down then I've just die cut some of these flowers out with this die that I had and I honestly can't remember where I got this from um, but um, if you've you know you can use any flowers that you want so I'm just going to cut up these tiny flowers and just place them randomly on to my butterfly wings okay so there we go now <laughs> i got a bit ahead of myself because i actually wanted to do some splatters on this so ideally you want to do this before you add your vellum and your butterfly but i'm going to show you how you can rectify that if you do the same as me so i just cut out another butterfly with the outline die and I'm just simply going to place it over the top I'm not too worried if the splatters go on the vellum on the outside I just don't want it going on this section here so I'm going to place that over the top so then that will cover that up so for that I'm going to use a distress oxide tumbled glass and then I got these shiny metallic watercolour paints and it's by Art Sensations and these were from the range I think for a pound and I'm going to use this silver one. So I'm just going to use my gel plate which is from Textures 
and I'm just going to use that to add my ink on. So I'm going to start off with the blue and I'm going to place some ink on there and I'm going to add some water and I'm going to get a paintbrush and mix that up. I'm just using a water colour brush. And do a couple of big ones. Do the same with the metallic silver and heat set that and then I will come back. Okay, so there we go. And I think that just finishes that off beautifully. So what I've done is I've added my foam tape to the back. And I've gone around my butterfly. I've made sure I've not got any gaps in between those foam tape because I don't want the sequins to come out. And then I've also gone around the edges as well. So I've stuck my card base together. So that's going to go on top of there. So I need to make sure that I add my sequins around this area here. So I have a mixture of sequins. I've got some from my papercraft society box so i've got some silver there i've got some white i've got some blue so there we go i mean you're not really going to see the colors clearly because it's under vellum but i just want to give it a bit of sparkle and color behind that butterfly so I'm going to add some liquid glue on to here, just so I know that that will stay down. Place that over the top. And stick that down. And I can shake those sequins around. I want to add a sentiment up here. But I also want to add some pearls and I want like a trail, behind, you know, be, um, at the back of the butterfly. So I was going to add some in the centre of the flowers, the, those blue flowers, but these pearls are just a bit too big. So I think I'm going to add some of this pearl effect um, and this is the cream and i'm just going to add a dab of it in the center of those flowers so i'm just going to do a trail of pearls and i think i'm going to do my sentiment now so this is going to be an anniversary card for a friend of ours so i'm going to stamp my happy anniversary stamp with some black ink onto some white card and then i might add some silver mirrored cardstock behind that and then add some foam and place that on there add some of this to the center of the flowers and then when i've done that i will come back and there we go how beautiful does that look and i just love how the sequins are very subtle behind that vellum and it's not like in your face it just looks gorgeous and i absolutely love it and i think the splatters just finish it off beautifully yeah okay, guys that is my card and i hope that you enjoyed it using the flory bunda butterfly die set as always i'll link what i can in the video description bar below and if you enjoyed this video please give a big thumbs up Please continue to support my channel by hitting that subscribe button. Until next time guys, take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.